Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Hello there. It's me, Lucky C. Um, hi. It's been a long time. Um, I am tentatively saying I'm back to vlogging. I'm not really sure. But it's been a really long time. A lot has happened. Probably like at least a year. Um, no, I don't really want to talk about what's happened. <laughs> Of course I do, but I'm not because it's still processing, but um, it's a very, 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 very uh, eventful time of year. Um, I am going to be traveling this summer, which is exciting because I haven't traveled in like three years. Um, I am working. I really, really, really love my job. Um, so that's definitely a plus and something that's different. Um, I don't really know what I want to vlog on, if you can't really tell. I'm winging it like I always do. Um, it's the week before Memorial Day 2012 and my Memorial Day plans are pretty calm. I'm going to go to New York, take Xavi. Um, probably one of these days I'll vlog with Xavi because you guys probably wouldn't believe like how big and how talkative he is. Um, I'm very proud of him even though I feel like I'm on his behind all the time. Can we pause there for a second? Let's ride right there. <sighs> Is it just me or does nobody really tell you, I guess with motherhood, that, th not to say it's not all joy, I feel like people are honest about that, but I feel like I'm on ZV all the time. Like I have to constantly redirect him. Um, I know he's a boy, I know, you know, he's rambunctious, da 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 but I'm constantly on him to the point that sometimes I'm like, he must hate me. He tells me a lot of times, too, he'll be like, mommy, I don't like you. Um, which I'm like, it doesn't really faze me because I don't believe him, but it's still like, you know, he has enough sense to say it because he knows I'm always on him. Um, so, Zavi, he's a trip. Like I said, I am proud of him. He's doing well in pre-K and... You know, learning his letters and his numbers and doing projects and all the corny stuff that I like. Yeah, if you can't tell, I'm sweating. I'm um, probably going to have to turn the air conditioner on. Um, it's pretty hot today and I got my hair done and I'm going out tonight. Um, pretty excited about going out tonight. I haven't been out in Philly in a while. It's a new place um, called Waterview Lounge. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Um... What else? I don't even know what to touch on as far as current events. So much stuff happens between like reality TV and like real political news and local news. And I mean, today the craziest story I heard was that the guy tried to um, rob the P Pennsylvania Wine and Spirits in like the hood. And of course the police shot him. Like nobody robs Pennsylvania Wine, wine and Spirits. Like it's a state run entity. Like it's just very controlled. Who thinks about that? It's just, I feel like lately, like the past couple months, like six months, it's always some bizarre news. Then you got the guy who's like, thir is he 33 with 30 kids? And I think that they were saying like, like one of the, or, you know, uh, I don't know if it's the, you'd say the mother or the children was getting like a dollar child support and he's asking for some relief. I'm so confused as to how one person had 30 kids in this day and age. Like, nobody caught on, like hospitals or anybody the police like school I don't know who like did any of the baby moms know there were so many other kids like I feel like he should have been stopped I feel bad for his kids because I mean I feel like just him being who he is you know having any you know has a blue collar job of course he's not making enough to support 30 kids I feel like you're making a mockery of your kids like you didn't really value their life like you you made all these kids and didn't think about how you would support them and now you're asking for some relief and child support. I can only imagine he probably don't got no money, which is understandable because you have so many children. But that's not fair to the children, you know? I, I don't know. It's just it's it's like weird but at the same time it's sad because I feel bad for the kids. Um what else is bizarre? I mean I feel like you know people keep dying, you know, about Whitney. I still feel like I'm recovering from that. I can't believe Whitney Houston died. Really can't. Um what this week uh chuck brown and donna summer died um and people always die in threes i have always been very preoccupied when i say very 
it's like, I think about it a lot, but don't want to talk about it, <laughs> about death. And so recently, though, I, I'm, I feel like I'm in a place where I can kind of like let it go and I just appreciate um, the moment because you just don't know. You truly and truly, truly don't know. Um, dating. Yeah. Still dating. <laughs> I was off the scene, back on the scene. Um, but I'm not like I I'm, I don't know how to describe this, but yeah, I'm like on the scene, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm still over it. I'm I'm quite quite over it. But I have some new goals and focuses for this year that are um personal. You know, there's a lot of personal changes that I would like to make um, that will hopefully um, heavily impact me and Zavi or change, greatly change our situation, which would be great, you know what I mean? So, you know, I, I can't complain. I'm, I'm alive and well. I guess once I focus or get like a topic, I'll vlog again. 